I realized I didn't rename. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so it's still fun. I just wasn't the same one from yesterday. All right, it is what it is. I don't want to. I don't want to restart you it. Rename it. I can't. You can go in there and rename it yourself, but where where is it playing? Just on it's, on your channel and stuff. On my channel. Cool. Yeah. And other places too. Uh, here. Oops. Sorry, guys. I was going to send Jerry Seinfeld this thing and call it, What's the deal with Overwhelm? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, there it goes. Okay. It did it. It did the it did thing. It. it did it. It did the thing. I think. Let me go change it. Yeah. yeah I should have changed it. Uh, maybe it didn't do the thing. Okay. You got, all right. You got just, you, you say things. I'll do the things. Well, I'm trying to change it on my end. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All one second. Right. It's isn't it perfect in the uh, in the realm of what we're <laughs> about to talk about? I, mean, I suppose. <laughs> uh, it's too funny. Um, beautiful. All right. So if we wanted to have a chat with you guys today about how to deal with overwhelm. And as we're doing this, all of these things are happening. It's okay. Oh, universe, you never cease to amaze me. Uh, so I just want to give you guys like a little uh, background on, on, on my world at the moment and why I thought this was a, a timely topic. We're in the process of uh, selling our house or about to list the house. So today we have... Uh, a cleaning crew that's coming and they're doing this like deep clean and but i'm basically like having to follow them around and move things and shift things and monitor things and then meanwhile my kids were at camp they went to play tennis so i had to run out and do a bunch of stuff then i couldn't bring them back home because we have no kitchen because they're cleaning the kitchen so i had to run out for this then i came back and they're asking me this and i have to move carpets so anyway i just wanted to paint a picture of my world right now. And guys also like, we've been wanting to have a chat about something. So he's like, I could talk now. And I was like, yes, hold on. And <laughs> someone calls me here. Yeah. So it's just been one of these really, um, yeah, like I guess o overwhelm energy days, right? And I, um, you know, on that before you go, before you go, I wanted to, I was thinking, you know how you have like a car before you like you might have this car for years but before you detail it you take care of it you bring it to like primo condition to sell it right same thing with the house i noticed like you're about to sell a house it's like well why don't we why don't people do that when they actually live there so they can enjoy things they like do the some they do for somebody else so i've thought i've thought long and hard about this because it, it obviously we're in the process of doing it so i'll I'll, yeah. I'll take you on a little bit of a tangent of like what i figured out you know and i think this is kind of true for um really anything, but like specifically a house to, to, to repaint a house and fix some cracked walls and do all of these things. Right. Like I can, I guess I can speak for me. If there's a crack in the wall or a paint somewhere is chipping and I went to fix that in my world for me, I'm not going to walk in my house now with like, like more joy or more bliss or more anything, right? Like, I'm just like, it doesn't bother me. I don't look there. I don't care. Like, you know what I mean? So to spend, cause obviously like fixing things around your house costs a good amount of money, right? So like for me, I was really thinking about this. Like I could do that or I could take that money and go on a really nice vacation. You know, and so I think that's kind of where it ends up for a lot of people. It's like we just kind of get used to things that way. It doesn't 
it's not going to change the quality of your life if it goes this way or that way. I can tell you now that it's done, it's a whole lot nicer, <laughs> you know, and like, but um, yeah, so that that's my take on that. But anyway, back back to this whole overwhelm piece. So You know, so one of the things that happens a lot of the times when you're overwhelmed is you're running around doing this. And then the thing that's really been always a huge trigger for me is kind of like when I'm on task and doing something. And then I know this, this is for you guys too. And someone comes in and goes, I need you to do this. And like my plans need to change in the moment. And I feel both like I have no choice in the matter. And now time is taken away from what I was intending to do to do this other thing. And it, it generally like really charges me. So um, I had to leave the house to go pick up the kids uh, from, from camp. They're on break this uh, week. And on the way, Fanny calls me and she's like, listen, they're still working in the kitchen. Like the kids are gonna be starving. Why don't you take them out to lunch? And if I take them out to lunch, that's basically like an hour ordeal. Guy and I were supposed to have this conversation. So in my head, like I was like chick chock and back. And now that was out the window. And I could feel I'm not sure I know what chick chock is. is. Kind of, <laughs> chick chock. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Chick chock is like uh, real quick. It's a is know what like, language is. It's is a, it's is Hebrew, Hebrew for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um and I, I know that like in these moments that uh, there's a charge that usually happens in my system and I get very irritated. And the other thing that you may notice when you're in overwhelm is that your fuse is very, very shortened. Like everything upsets you, you know, things that your kids would say would, that would normally like not have any impact on you all of a sudden like really upsetting things will happen you'll drive and all of a sudden you get really upset and what was interesting this time so this was happening and i could feel this hook coming and wanting to pull me into the world of upset like it's not fair i had these plans i don't have time for this like etc cetera, etc cetera, etc and instead, what ended up happening is I ended up taking the kids out and we had lunch together and we were hanging out and doing all that stuff, which, you know, I basically got like an hour with my kids that wasn't scheduled or, or supposed to happen. And even during lunch, I would love to say that this was all like, you know, hunky dory, but like even during lunch, there's a TV there. And so now I'm, I'm committed, like I'm going to be with these kids and my kids are sitting there watching news on a, on a, TV instead of us having like an interaction. And again, the hook, right? Like the hook comes and it's like, you already took time out of your day. And now they're here. Now these ungrateful little shits and they're sitting there just watching TV. I could just feel all of it. I could feel all of it. And, and what I really want to share is that these practices are moment by moment. It's not like uh, you, you, you snap your fingers once, you do this exercise once, you meditate once and it's over. Like even during this you know, hour and a half time frame that I had, I was ping ponging back and forth between this and this and this and this and this. So I think what's important to understand is overwhelm is one of those things that's gonna happen it doesn't matter how much work you do on yourself. It is is a it's a part of being human because what means is like we're 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 taking so much data and information or so much energetic charge that the system literally kind of like it goes into a little bit of a freak out mode because it's like too much too fast. And then whatever happens, it's it's it, it, I think what what I notice is that as we've done more and more of this work, like it's happening, but I can I can sit in a different place and watch it happen instead of having it having it like 
sideswipe me and hijack me and take me because it could have easily derailed my entire day. I could have contacted guy and been like, you know what? I'm not in the fucking mood. Like I can't do this. I'm blah, 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 blah. But truly like I can feel all those parts still there. I can feel the part that feels really overwhelmed. I can feel the part that's like really nervous about lack of time because we have to get all this stuff done around the house. Like I can feel the stress around, you know, my kids having to be home while the house is clean and like trying to maintain these little tornadoes from like destroying everything that we just paid for. I can feel all of it, like truly all of it. Mm. And, and there are times where I feel it more and it like impacts my system more. But what I really noticed today is this ability to just regain that balance, quote unquote, like really, really quickly, you know, have that, that kind of thought and that charge in it and be like, I don't want to go there. Some practicality for the listener about what's, what's your, yeah, what's like your internal and external, um, focus in that moment i don't want to say doing because then people think there's like a a specific thing one yeah. does to get cut overwhelmed which in a way there is but you know then you turn it into a process and it's not exactly always going to help you so what what are you what are you finding is actually happening within you and outside of you okay so i'm going to give you like the the visual track of of how how it happens it feels like if, if my upper torso was this like, um, I had like a lot of buttons that when people push, they'd like light up and, and create some sort of like response. So in when, when overwhelm happens, I generally feel like there's this protective layer that I usually have that I, don't, I, I hate to call it a force field, but it feels like um, people really can't get through it to push all of these buttons. Like an energetic boundary almost. Correct. And when, when the system is highly charged and, and it goes into this overwhelm, it feels like that uh, barrier is disintegrated a little bit. And so the access to the buttons are a lot uh, faster. So that's kind of been my experience. It's like seeing that. I think today what I was really present to is that the buttons being pushed aren't me. I know that that might sound really strange, but like, the button i lost you there for a second the button yeah, that's that's being, the button that's being pushed was just my experience today was like it wasn't actually me it was this program that i could just watch i need to show them stuff there we go <laughs> <laughs> This is my day in a nutshell. <laughs> we can cut it short if you want for the day. Go right, do your I'm thing. gonna go. I'm gonna let you take over. Okay. No, sorry, right. we'll we'll cut it off for the day. We'll have a, we'll have another chat at a different time. It doesn't it doesn't feel like an alignment to just pick it up from there. All right, guys, we love you. We'll pick it up next time. We're sorry for the uh, how it ended today. We'll see you next time.